Hey, Ted here, I'm at New England Tech, and I'm just finishing up the first week. Uh, one of the classes that I've been teaching is our um, drive systems class. So I just wanted to show you a couple things about what the students are learning and uh, how that applies to their industry when they're gonna go out in the field. So let's take a look. All right, so they started first, you know, week one, we started talking about stern drive technology as well as lower unit technology, um, you know, and the differences. So this is a DPS drive, and the first thing I have the students do is take the drives off stands so they learn how to remove them, and then we get directly into uh, transom assembly repair, which is um, a pretty unique task uh, for them to learn and they get into taking the, uh, the bell housing off and the drive components um, all the way down to pulling out gimbal bearings, replacing gimbal bearings, shift cables, bellows. So going by the book, you know, they've taken this one apart. They're working on also a more modern uh, Ocean X drive. This is the DPSA, DPSB version. So older versions of, you know, the stern drive uh, with the you know, trim pump inside, and then, you know, the more modern ones we're working on here where they're going to learn how to change the trim pump assembly, which is integral into the transom assembly. So a lot of hands-on in this class. It's a fun class to teach, um, and they get to learn a lot about how uh, drive systems work. Uh, and, of course, we've got to go back in time and show them how alphas work and take alpha stern drives and transom assemblies apart, mostly for bellows and shift cables. So let's take a look at the drive lab as well, see what's coming up next. Okay, as we come in the drive lab, you'll notice right away here that um, I've organized the shims for the drives on a board here so we can uh, cover, you know, shimming procedures in detail for different drives. All the special tools that they need are in the cabinets in, these, uh, in the labs. Um, this is a DPS that they'll be turned down later. Uh, going over the alphas, I was going over shift cables, um, how to adjust cables, how to install them, the bellows, um, those components week one. And then, of course, as we go along through the semester, we're going to actually get into full teardown of drives. So we'll be doing the DPS drives um, up here on the top rack going over the differences between DPSA and the DPS. And then, of course, we'll get into alpha drive, uh, full teardown procedures where we'll do full teardown of the drive, full uh, rebuilding procedures, resealing, reshimming, uh, bearing preload, um, everything that goes into, uh, you know, whether it's replacing a lower unit or it's replacing a stern drive, someone hits a rock, or it's resealing a shaft, putting sh uh, shaft seals in it, or changing a bellows, um, changing a water pump, um, you know, anything really that goes in with outboard lower units or it goes in with stern. That's, you know, a lot of the areas that are really important is the drive system. You also get into inboards and we get into shaft, engine shaft alignment, the components, uh, rudder struts, etc. Um, so just a quick overview of one of the technology classes that we teach here in the Marine Technology Program at New England Tech. And I just wanted to share that with you. Uh, so I can't stress the opportunities that are out there for our students. Um, there are lots and lots of excellent paying jobs out there for um, technicians that go through these programs. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out, you know, and if you like the video, you like what you're seeing here, you know, please subscribe at the like button and I hope to see you in class.